then I was the administrator for a while, and now I've got, now I get to stand here and talk to you guys. So, that tells you everything you need to know about me, right? Right. Good. Okay. Now I need to know something about you guys. How many visual learners do we have? Okay. How many auditory learners do we have? And how many experiential learners do we have? <laughs> ah, okay, I'm going to need you guys later, so don't run off. <laughs> okay, this is tonight's topic, fragmentation. We're going to start out kind of broad. We're going to do some of the simple, boring stuff. You know, I'm going to get some of the background out of the way. Then I'm going to get some of my experiential learners to come up and help us all learn a few more concepts. Okay. And then we'll go back to the, the, the dull, boring stuff again to kind of refine the details. Okay. And the rest of the work. Okay. Now, we're going to cover most of the really important stuff in a really basic, hands-on learning environment. Do we have any professional educators in the room? Oh, good. We got one. So, you guys are master naturalists. I figured, if nothing else, at some point in the future, we may call upon you to go out and do the same stuff with somebody else. So this is the one part of the program that's uniquely my own. I had a sudden flash of inspiration yesterday afternoon. Oh, I gotta try this. Maybe somebody to tell me how to make it better. So I need four of my experiential learners from over in this corner, because I think they were all over here. <coughs> how about that? <laughs>
It died in transit. <laughs> or, uh oh, there wasn't a sufficient corridor for it to make the trip. Again, it kind of depends on what's in this gap. This could have been a friendly environment, or it could be a hostile environment. There could be a hungry beaver sitting here waiting for the pencil to come out, right? Or termites or something. Or just a pack rat that wants to carry it up. So, corridors are a good idea, or are they always a perfect idea? No, we don't know that the individuals involved want to use the corridor. We don't know that the corridor will provide absolute protection for those individuals that do want to use the corridor. And if there's a gap in the corridor anywhere, all bets are off. Is all that perfectly clear? Mm -hmm. You have learned most of tonight's lesson. Wasn't that quick and painless? <laughs> May I have the corridor back? And if you would please just leave your pencil up here. And you guys can go experience something different. <laughs> Round of applause for our experience and learning. Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>